Hello there, dragon lovers. This is Akshay here, and we are back with a new dragon hunting in Dragon Age Inquisition. So, this one we're gonna go fight the Sandy Howler in the Hissing Waste. This dragon is very found here where I'm currently pointing the mark. So, once you're gonna enter this uh, map, just go where I just pointed that mark there. So, before you go, uh, to that location, I'll be wanting you to uh, stay focused as you'll be encountering some uh, wavering you know, that I'm allowed to uh, bump into one. Uh, I want to bump into one, and this guy is really nasty. Uh, I wasn't that way at first, but uh, later on, uh, I bumped into that one, and uh, he did consume some of all my health, but it was not that uh, it wasn't that big. So uh, if you're a low level character, around level 19 or 18, if you're trying to enter that, that part here, it will be quite difficult for you guys to come across, uh, to go across without having any harm from those uh, wavering. So just be prepared for, uh, for this. So yeah, those who are new, um, I'm actually a uh, late introduction to you guys. So I'm doing a Dragon Age Inquisition Dragon Fight. So uh, if you're new, if you're seeing this content uh, favorable so for you, leave a sub, leave a like if you like this video, and do comment if you uh, if you want me to do more of these kind of videos. So right now we are in the hissing waste. Dragon, gotta be. Dragon, gotta be. So we're gonna go fight this uh, the Sandy Howler. The Sandy Howler is asleep. Uh, compared to the other dragon who always fly around. Uh, on the skies or stay awake on the ground. This one is uh, asleep. As you can see, I'm gonna try and stay as much closer to that guy. Let's see what happens. So, uh, if that guy's asleep, I think we'll be able to go near the face. Let's try it out. Sneaky picky, sneaky picky. Slowly, slowly, and yeah, you see guys, this is the first time I'm gonna try and come closer to this dragon. So, let's try to wake him up. Uh, this is the first time I, that I've uh, done some uh, uh, close encountering with the dragon. So, this one is the first time that I did it. The Sandy Howler. And we're gonna go fight him. So, uh, for fighting tips, the Sandy Howler... Uh, it's it's uh, quite a tough opponent. T its level is 20 and it has 246k HP in Nightmare difficulty. And it's it's fire resistant. So I advise you guys to bring some ice magic, especially to wait to your mages. And also to put some fire resistant tombs to your uh, Mali, uh, Mali party members. And uh, also, I advise you guys to uh, equip more with the uh, unique skill, which is the Ripper, which allow him to rip apart the gods of the dragons. I guess I just try it out. And also, be aware of the Maelstrom, the Wing Attack, which should do put a lot of strength in your uh, long range uh, party members. So, once you see the dragons put up its wings, just hide. Or just as usual, use uh, an escape route or the fastest means to get inside the ring that forms around the dragon. So as we can see, we're gonna go continue the fight, and I'm gonna at the same time put some tips on what types of weapons to use in that kind of fight. Because I'm seeing a lot of noobs who usually ask me on Twitter what kind of weapons to use, even if uh, we're fighting against higher tiers of dragons because the first five dragons were really easy to defeat although I had a relatively some time to deal with my first version dragon but afterwards it was easy uh, my average time uh, became around 10 minutes coming to my first video which was around 20 to 25 minutes but this one was fine 10 minutes it's good and nightmare difficulty I'm having fun with that so uh, all this information, I've done a lot of research. So uh, I've done a lot of research just to build that video, just how to know how to fight the dragons and dragon in position. So if you guys uh, leave a like, it will be 
nice for me uh, because I've done a lot of research as I already told you it would be nice so uh, for this dragon uh, I've added some uh, special element to my potion heal, especially the regenerative potion, which is proximity healing. It will be beneficial if you do that, put that kind of healing to the Mali, uh, Mali party, Mali uh, characters, because this will uh, proximity healing, allowing to heal yourself at the same time healing other people uh, who see, which are around, around you. And this will prove to be quite helpful for fighting dragons or other people. And uh, let's continue with the other decision, shall we? So, the dragon just suppressed some fire on me, and I was able to block it. Hopefully, with the uh, ice elixir, which provide an additional uh, frost uh, frost resistance and fire resistance. This proved to be quite a good thing to fight against the dragons. Uh, for rogue types, I'm appreciating this kind of build. And uh, for bull, it just has a bond. We have the shreds and dragons being part of his family. He's just having fun there. Killing one after them, one after the other. That's what's, what's the best. So let's go back with the Ripper. The Ripper gonna rip up all the gods. One to, one to five strength and the gods down. So uh, I advise to bring up that skills once you uh, uh, level up to level 15 and this will allow you to uh, rip the shield off the dragon really easily and now we proceed to Cassandra the one thing that I'm happy about Cassandra is that it has uh, an axe which contains a dragon slaying rune this probably will be dealing a lot of damage to those dragons and uh, I'll be suggesting you all guys to put some dragon's name runes on your equipment so you're fighting a dragon and also some uh, master corrupting runes if you are if you're able to find some those guys are really difficult to find so uh, I guess it will prove to be quite helpful to find fighting uh, high level dragons from 20 to upper high levels and that's all from the explanation so I hope this comes to be useful to you and don't forget to use the focus at the end to uh, mobilize the dragon and also to render those uh, uh, fire meaningless to you guys so this is one of the best way to fight the sandy howler and if I don't forget I'll just leave the rest of the video and I'll check you guys in the next video this is actually Roller signing out don't forget to subscribe
better. See the way everything lit up when it tried to fry us. <laughs> now that is a fight. That last burst of flame nearly roasted us. <laughs> 